I now want to discuss the idea of vectors being perpendicular to each other. When the dot product is zero, the vectors are perpendicular to each other. Now let's take a look at that. Suppose I have a vector A, which is a familiar one. We've used it several times. Minus 2y plus 4 z root. And B equals minus x roof plus 3y roof plus b of z, which I do not know, z roof. But I'm telling you that the vector a is perpendicular to the vector b. And I'm asking you, what should this value be so that the two are perpendicular to each other? And that is something that does happen some kind, sometimes in these problems of Newtonian mechanics, that you want to get two vectors at right angles. And that this is a very fast way sometimes to get the vectors. Namely, you set the dot product equal to zero. What is the dot product? A dot B must be zero. A dot B is the x component of A times the x component of B. That is minus three. The product of these components is minus six. And the product of these components is plus 4bz. That has to be zero. So when b of z equals plus 9 over 4, the angle theta will be 90 degrees. They are perpendicular to each other.